Now that we have our background in sprites, we can let the fun begin. We're actually going to start adding the logic or the code that makes the sprites interact like they should in order to have our game. So we're going to start by coding the paddle. Come up here and click on your paddle. Choose Edit and you're going to get the same settings dialog box that we saw in a previous video. This time we're going to click behavior. When you click behaviors, you get kind of a grayed out screen and you get a lot of options over here on the left hand side. This is where the magic happens. So what we need to tell the paddle to do is stay locked on the X axis so it does not move from side to side. For example, when the ball hits the paddle, the paddle isn't pushed back into the wall. We need to lock the paddle on the x-axis and we need to be able to control it with our mouse moving up and down along the y-axis. Before we get too far into coding, let's just take a minute to look at the different menus here. We have triggers, logic and math, components, properties, GUI, game flow, and the behavior bundle. We're actually going to start with the triggers menu, which is where you will usually start, and we're going to choose always. So I'm going to take always and drag it up here. The next thing we want to do is add a number node. So the number node is going to be under the logic and math menu. I'm going to grab number, click on it, and then drag it right here. Okay, so a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to do is click on number. We want to set a value. We're going to set this value to be 576. Click OK. Next, we're going to connect a couple of nodes here. We're going to connect the out to the end. The next thing we're going to do is add the mouse move, a set or node. Whatever you want to call it, the mouse move should be here in triggers. Yep, there it is. So click mouse move. I'm going to come here and then I'm going to add the position node, which is going to be, let's see, under properties. Okay, so grab position and move it out here. I like to try to keep it clean. What we're going to do with position is we're going to lock it on the Y axis. So when the mouse moves the Y, the Y position changes. This means, this 576 means that the paddle is locked on the X axis axis. What we need to do is connect this one to the X. So make sure your logic looks like this. Again, just a quick review. Always is a trigger which is going to go ahead and start your game and it's going to ensure the game runs in a loop. So we're going to always have the paddle locked at 576 position on the X axis. We're also going to allow the mouse to move the paddle on the Y axis. I just want to be clear that you can move these nodes around. You can also click play down here in the bottom left hand corner and it will show you how the connections are working between the nodes. I like this because it shows us that the 576 is not changing, but that my Y position is changing. So that's a nice little feature that allows us to test our logic. Okay, I'm going to come down here and stop the preview. Next, I'm going to choose OK and then choose OK again. We can actually play the game now. The ball isn't going to move because we haven't yet coded the ball, but you can see how the paddle is moving up and down along the Y axis like it should. I'm going to go back to Open Editor. In the next video, we're going to start coding the ball. This is going to be where most of our logic is. It's going to get a little tricky, but it's nothing you guys can't handle. I look forward to working with you in the next video.